another sign of Sagittarius. My name is Kim, and I'll do a reading for the next 24 hours for you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, we are going to start by calling in Divine White Light to surround us as we do this reading. Surround you as you watch this reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Two fine messages that are for the greater good. Sign of Sagittarius, please. What do we have? Oh, that's a good one. I like the thread. Okay, the thread. The thread. Let's see. I'm going to look it up so that I make sure that I tell you, you know, exactly what they were wanting to tell you. All right. This is, the thread is the path, the vein, the circuit, the circuit of meaning within chaos says, life is a tangle. So much happens simultaneously, leaving us grappling for meaning and direction in a network of distractions. And when we connect to the energy of the thread, we strike the, strike the deepest vein in the body and our whole being responds to its tug. Our mind and our spirits are lifted. We remember who we are and why we came into this world. That's what I love about this card is it's about finding your soul purpose, finding your life purpose, the reason why everything went in a certain way, um, why certain challenges were in your life, why when it seemed like it was so hard but you got through, why did that happen? It all has to do with the purpose, some purpose in your life that you were here for. Um, much bigger, something much bigger than you really know, I'm pretty sure. Um, the thread is that we are connected to it and we are free. Being tethered to it is the only anchor that our heart requires. So it's like your heart even requires you to be on your soul purpose. It's really sweet. It's a good card. Um, it says you may think you may have to find the thread and pull it. But imagine that it's already tied around you, waiting for you to follow it home. I always That always reminds me of, you know, the near-death experiences where they have that silver cord. They talk about having a silver cord in your um, being that's kind of attached to the spirit realm. And when you leave, um, that cord is like snipped. So it's like the spiritual umbilical cord. It kind of reminds me of that. Anyway. Anyway. All right, so there's the thread, and we're going to get a card from the Guardian Angels deck. This is the Guardian Angels deck. Next 24 hours for Sagittarius, please. Ooh, got to have faith, faith, faith. I got to have faith. Angel of faith. Angel of faith. So, let's see. Okay, this card has arrived because you may be questioning your belief system. Hmm. Huh. It says, uh, having faith, it can make us truly question our life and its purpose. Huh. Okay, um, it says, do you have faith that you can and will achieve your goals? Do you believe everything happens for a reason, even if you don't fully understand that? It says, faith is the hardest thing that we are asked to have during our existence in the earth realm. Your angel of faith is always by your side at your time of need. And she wants you to know that with her support and your faith in her in the angelic realm, you will get through your current life issue. And your affirmation is, I am a spiritual being who is guided by the angelic realm. I have the faith to believe that anything is possible. And it is, and it is, it truly is. Miracles happen when you co-create with spirit for sure. All right, this is the energy deck for Sagittarius. Give me a card for Sagittarius, please. Is that all that wants to come out? All right, one more. Nice. This faith is going to lead to your ha personal happiness and healing. And there's going to be a journey of some sort. This is almost like the full energy, but... The reason why it's a little different for me than the full is because the arrows really have places marked on them. So it's not, it is having a leap of faith, but it's knowing that you're going in the direction of your soul purpose. Wherever you're going, it's guided. It's guided by the angels. And this is going to be your door to personal healing and happiness. That's healing on all levels. 
So healing on the career level, healing on the romantic level, um, you know, personal healing, healing like for real, um, physical healing of ailments, emotional healing, mending of relationships. I can think of lots of ways that can come into play. Have faith that this healing is going to occur and have faith in this journey that you are on and that you're tied to this thread and that you have a, you have a life purpose, you have a soul mission. All right, this is the spellcasting deck. It's like some want to come out and some don't. Could be dealing with a Leo, but it's asked for you to have strength right now. It's asked for you to have strength and compassion. Compassion for others. Strength and compassion. All right, so... Whatever this um, journey is, it, it might be testing you. It might be testing you on this journey to have the courage card show up. Um, bravery is needed uh, to step, you know, it, it looks almost like the moon behind her. So we've got some things that might be unknown, but you still have to be brave and show um, strength in times of crisis and times that are hard. And your compassion, that's just the ability, you know, to see things from another person's point of view. You don't necessarily have to have had the experience to have compassion for somebody else. Um, that would be empathy if you, uh, you yourself have been through something. So compassion is trying to put yourself in another person's shoes and look at this um, issue from that point of view. All right, we're going to get a wisdom from the oracle card. We got two. We got come to the edge. Come to the edge. And it makes me think of the journey card, the come to the edge and chop wood. Okay, come to the edge and chop wood. Let me put that here so you can see it. And journey up there. Chop wood over here so that you can see them. Um, okay, I'm going to look up Come to the Edge because, believe it or not, I have not gotten this one much. So, let's see, 36. Okay, um, this means, oh, look, and it was right beside this. I shouldn't have moved it. Come to the Edge means courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. We have a very big message of have faith in this reading. So if I were to sum up what this reading was about, it would be life, soul purpose, your mission, and having faith that everything is working out towards your greater good. It says facing the unknown right now is the only choice you have if you want to pr progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated and feel the exhilaration as you go for a leap of faith. And 42, chop wood, is about being grounded in everyday experience and humility. This is a time when if your vibration is low, it's harder to manifest. So what do we do when our vibration is low is we change it. And one really easy way to change your vibration is to keep yourself distracted doing something that's maybe small but meaningful, a chore around the house. It keeps you distracted and thus it changes your vibration, making it a little bit higher than it was if you're thinking about the things that you wish or there, like things that you lack or something like that. So let's get you some tea leaves and see what they had to say. All right, hammock. Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. There's that journey. Good news, ear. Good news. Hmm, I think that is that. I think that's about faith. Have faith about this news that it'll be good. Tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Be careful you don't drink too much when you see that card. Tiger, doing something risky and taking a chance. It kind of confirms this come to the edge card. And then table, hard work ahead, hard work ahead. All right, guys, it was a really good reading. I like doing this for you. Thank you so much. Um, have a good week and sending love and light out to you all. Bye-bye.